area I'm standing in, a water treatment facility in New Jersey, was inundated in Hurricane Irene in 2011. American Water, which is the nation's largest publicly traded water utility, invested $37 million, and now it has protection from a 500-year flood. Frankly, it's very challenging to make sure that we can get through those climate issues, through those natural disasters, and make sure that we can still sustain service to our customers and make sure that, that we're meeting all those requirements. So American Water spending $8.5 billion over five years on capital improvements like building reservoirs to capture excess water in storms like this one in Maryland, distributed then during droughts. New York City has committed $20 billion over 10 years. One project alone, a billion five, to replace part of a leaking Delaware aqueduct. That's the world's longest tunnel. I mean, they're grappling here with issues like aging infrastructure, growing chemical contamination, the availability of water. And experts say it will take a trillion dollars for drinking water alone. How do you pay for that? Well, the American Society of Civil Engineers say Americans have to be willing to pay rates that reflect the true cost of infrastructure.